I'm going to show you how to capture video from the Green Backyard Bird Box camera using the CMS5 application running on a PC. The first thing you should do when you open the app is to turn on the monitor. So at home, click Monitor and select your camera. Uh, double click to display the uh, monitor. Since I only have one camera, I'll select the single view. And to get a get the proper aspect ratio, I will choose 16 by 9. I've set the focus to um, the range of about 6 to 8 inches from the mounting bracket at the top of the um, bird box because that's the distance where I expect to see the eggs, the nestlings, and so on. Um, to, to adjust the focus, you twist the uh, lens on the camera. Now to capture a still picture, you click the little camera icon. There's the capture and click save to save the picture file. To capture video, you, you can turn on and turn off the video by clicking the little movie camera icon. Before you do that, you need to set up your video. So to do that, you do um, home, record settings. You select the drive here, C drive, D drive, whatever. And the files get stored in a folder or directory called records. When you click this enable record box, it will start recording if it is within this time span. The default time span is from uh, midnight to midnight. Uh, so uh, it'll just record forever. You can set a particular time range here, or you can manually uh, turn on and turn off the, the video recorder. So I'll do the latter. I'll go to monitor and I'll click the movie camera icon. So now it's recording, uh, you know, everything that's going on here. And you can see how the focus uh, gets better or worse if it's farther or closer to the ideal range. Okay, I'll stop recording. Now to view the recording, uh, go to home. Playback, click the local tab. Uh, I need to select the camera and be sure to click the little checkbox and do search. I'll scroll down to the most recent uh, capture, select it, and I want to display just one video, so I'll do this split one, and I'll click play. You see this video playback is just a few frames. It's kind of jerky. Um, but don't worry, the, the video file is correct. Um, you just can't display it in this app. What you need to do, let me stop this. What you need to do is open the records directory. This is C colon backslash records. Um, select the most recent directory and uh, there's the .avi file that was saved by the tool. If I And I've installed the uh, free VLC media player and set that as the default media player for AVI files. If I double click on this, it says, uh, it asks me if I want to build an index. I don't know what that is, but I'll just do play as is. And there it is. It's very big. Let me resize it to fit in the view here. Okay, so you got the whole video there. Let me let me stop this. Um, okay, so that that shows you how to record and playback videos manually on on your PC. Now, what if you want to record anytime there's motion detected inside the box? To do that, you have to re record to the device, not to your PC. Let me show you how to do that. Home. Oh, you have to have an SD memory card installed in your camera. So to configure that, you go to Home, Device Configuration, select the camera, and do Video Detect. 
Uh, be sure enable is checked. You can set the sensitivity and various other things. And enable the record. That is an automatic record when, when you uh, have any change happening in the camera view. So uh, it's already set for that. The other thing you do is record config here. So once again, home, device config, record config. And here you need to check um, detect. So recording will happen when motion is detected. You can set a specific time range here, right? By default, it's set to all day. So it'll detect any motion and start recording. That's already set, so I'll cancel that. So um, let's go to the monitor. You don't, the monitor does not have to be on. This works even when, even when this whole app is shut down. The camera records to its SD card by itself. But um, let's say I, I go like this, and there is a change. So it, it should record this automatically to the card. Now, once again, you don't have to be, the monitor does not have to be on. This whole program could be shut down and that recording will work. Okay, so to play back, again, you do play back. And now you need to select device, not local. This has to be checked. Do search. We'll scroll down to the most recent automatic records. You see rec record type is motion alarm. And that happened uh, at 426, just a minute ago. Uh, we can select that and click play. And there you, there you see um, the playback. Now, the playback cuts off before the whole 21 seconds has been displayed. So if you want to see the whole clip, you can download it. You, this one. Uh, this icon downloads the whole 21 second clip and this icon um, lets you select which portion you would like to download. So I'll just download the whole 21 seconds. I'll click that. There goes the download. Okay, you can set where the download goes to by doing home, system config, and then you set the path uh, where you want your um, videos to be downloaded. This is the one for setting where your still pictures go. So I'll go back to uh, home and play back. And let's go to the download directory. The default is um, program files, CMS5, data users, admin downloads. Let's open that. Now the video file is a .h264 file, which is not, which most players will not play. So the company provides a converter program. So I'll go to that converter. I've downloaded it. I'll do translate video. The one I want to translate is the most recent one, which was this one. And the output path I created, let's see, I'd like to go to that videos directory. Here, videos. Okay. Click start. It will translate um, this video. And now I can go to the videos directory. Here's the videos directory. There's my video, and it's an MP4. Now you can play that with um, the VLC media player. So I'll double click this. Okay. There's the video. Let me resize this smaller. So there's your whole video. Enjoy using your green backyard bird box camera.